Good morning, Church. It's Matt Dickinson here, part of the uh, Chester Core team, and it's my privilege to bring the devotional today. I want to share with you uh, some of my favourite verses from the book of Philippians. It's a famous little passage, and it says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Do not be anxious about anything. That can seem uh, like quite the task here, quite the command, but I'd encourage you today as we invite the Holy Spirit in, you know, to allow him to uh, invite you into that. See it as an invitation. Uh, Paul, the writer here, he's telling us that there's another way, there's a possibility, there's a way to not be anxious about anything. And he gives us the practical steps of how to do it too. You know, in the modern age, um, talk about mental health and anxiety is really prominent. And that's a great thing because it's an issue that affects all of us. It, um, it can affect us day to day. Um, but I think it's important that as Christians, we recognize this is not a new issue. This is not something that's just here because of social media or the internet or the stresses of the modern age. Um, but Paul, the writer here, you know, thousands of years ago is saying, do not be anxious about anything. Uh, anxiety was an issue in Jesus's day, the same as it is in ours. And we can take confidence from that because we know that God's word speaks about it, addresses it, and that Jesus defeated it on the cross. The other thing I want to encourage you with today uh, is just a really practical little step that will help you to turn those anxious thoughts, those worrying thoughts into prayers um, by following what Paul says in this verse. So uh, it's actually really easy to do. All you do is take the thought, take the thing that's maybe going round and round in your head and just say God at the beginning of it. Uh, just say God at the beginning of it and invite him in. I'll give you a little example. Uh, you could be thinking the thought going round in your head could be, Oh, I've got so much to do this week. I feel like I'm never going to be ready for that meeting on Friday. That thought, you know, it goes round and round. The more you think it, the more anxious you get. Um, but there's a really easy way to turn that thought into a prayer. And it's by adding, you know, the word God at the beginning. All you do is say, God, I've got so much to do this week. I feel like I'm never going to be ready for that meeting on Friday. Would you help me? And that has, you know, it's the same thought, it's the same issue, but it invites God into the situation and it allows him to come and move um, and to give you that peace in your heart and mind that surpasses all understanding. Um, and, you know, there's a next level we can go to as well because Paul says prayer, petition and thanksgiving. So if we add some thankfulness to it, um, so a declaration of what God's word really says, of his truth to it, then um, that is the next level. So we take our anxious thought, we take our worry, uh, but instead of just saying that, we say, thank you, God, that you're with me. I feel like I've got so much to do this week. I don't know if I'm ever going to be ready for that meeting on Friday, but I choose to trust you. And your word says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So it's, this, it's the same thought, it's the same issue, but we're just saying, God, would you help me? And we're bringing some thankfulness. We're bringing a declaration of God's truth, of what God's word says. Um, and I really hope that helps you today with just a simple little thought, a simple way to take those things that we're worrying about, take those anxious thoughts and turn them into prayers. So be encouraged today, church. Hope you have a great day. Know that you're not on your own in this battle. Uh, we're all walking daily together uh, in this battlefield of the mind but through God's word we have victory and as we follow Paul's steps we can turn our anxious thoughts into prayers. Have a great day church and I'll see you soon. Bye!